today, uh, one thing we were doing was fixing Cass's computer. Here, uh... This is Cass's old keyboard. As you can see, I got quite really a... frustrated with the computer one day. Ah! <laughs> like the angry German kid. That's what I was just going to say. Have you seen the angry German kid video? Well, That's that was Cass. Keyboard. Yes. <laughs> He's gone laptop now. That's right. And then, uh... We replaced it with a brand new keyboard. I don't know what all that grunge is there, but I just, um, just it's like the like glue from like a sticker. Oh, okay. That's where the Windows XP sticker used to be. Really? Yeah. Oh, the big uh, big sticker. Here's all the crap we put on your computer. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Which. Uh, both Cass and I tend to just nuke and replace with our own stuff afterwards. That's why I tell <clears throat> people I have, like, yeah, I have a great Acer computer now because the only Acer component left is the shell. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, pretty much. Oh. Uh, once I get the new RAM in there, yeah, it'll be a different RAM. Better RAM. <coughs> yeah. New hard drive. We well, should be okay with the RAM that's in there for now. Um, and so, so you can get the replacement. Yeah, we'll work on getting that sometime soon. Yeah. And then, uh, but at least you got the faster hard drive. Mm -hmm. I think that'll make a big difference because that other hard drive was, I mean, it was slower to begin with, but it was also old. Yeah. So I'm sure the age affected the speed considerably. It's running at 3 RPM. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so now with the faster hard drive and the fact that you're starting fresh with all the hardware and you have a new keyboard, it should all uh, mm -hmm. work quite well. Yeah, I can actually take it places now. Yeah. I don't know how long the battery's going to last. How long does it normally last? Um, about an hour, hour and a half. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Mm. It's pretty good for a laptop. Well, if I take it anywhere, I take the power supply with me. Yeah, like Starbucks or something. Yeah, I don't even do that, really. <clears throat> no? No, it's more just, I have it so that I can have a computer of my own to take with me places, like if I go out to Toronto or something like that. Yeah. Also, just because it's easier to move than a, than a desktop. Yeah. So. You know, if you only use it for, um, uh, like, just browsing the internet type thing, mm -hmm. which is what I tend to do, mm -hmm. um, the PSP actually does it. Really? Yeah, yeah PSP my PSP is, hooks up to this one. Yeah. Actually, the PSP and the PS3 talk to each other. Yeah. Cool. So you can download stuff on, say, the PS3, like demos. Like we've actually got a couple of PSP game demos on there. Mm -hmm. Then using the USB cable, you can transfer it over to the PSP. Yeah. And vice versa, you can like load stuff onto the PSP and put it on the PS3. I also remember the transfer <coughs> cable on the TI-83 calculators. Yeah. They're fun. You could trade games with each but, other. But um, both of them actually have wi like I guess, wi Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something. Mm -hmm. anyway. Wireless internet capability built right in, so why can, <laughs> So uh, because we've got the wireless router, we can just log them into that mm -hmm. and uh, share the internet connection between them. So it's really cool. So that's how I got the demos and stuff for the PS3. It was just downloading. Them. <coughs>